Hi, I'm Junior Hoops, Family Odyssey Program Manager here at ACS. Uh, I've done a few videos that you've uh, seen uh, throughout the weeks. This is part two of a four-part series of how to manage conflict during our isolation. Last week, uh, my video was on active listening, and then we had certain tips throughout the week of how you can be an active listener. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, the problem-solving part, the second part of it. So once you've had your active listening and you're, you've already clarified what some problems are, now how can, we, how can we solve this? What are some problem solving that we can do? So I'm gonna talk about four different steps you can do in the problem solving phase of it. So the first one is setting an agenda. So again, sitting down with your family member or your partner, your spouse and saying, okay, what problem do we want to address? So sit, having this agenda and writing it out. Okay, this is what we want to address. Here's the problem. Okay, uh, a lot of times when you're upset, you're going over tons of different things, but oh, there's only one real issue. So what's the issue we want to address right now? So decide what the problem to address. The second thing is, is as you're sitting there, brainstorming it, okay? As a, as a couple or as a family, how can I brainstorm this situation and what can we do? Doing the pros and cons or anything like that. So brainstorming, and again, not, and not seeing you're not going, oh, that's a stupid idea. Again, looking at all the different ideas and all the different um, agendas with it. Uh, so don't be, don't judge the brainstorming. An agreement and compromise. What you're going to find is a lot of times that just like in marriage or relationships or even with, again, with our family, we have to come to some kind of agreement and compromise for certain things. Okay. Uh, you want me to take out the trash, but I was playing video games. Instead of fighting over the video games, again, here, here's what we can do. You know, the trash needs to be taken out at this time. No, no problem playing video games, but when it comes to this time, we, do, you know, we're going to take the trash out. So again, compromising versus sitting and playing video games all day It's or doing something all day. We have certain things that we do. Okay, I don't need the trash taken out every day. Do you need to take it out every day or can I take it out every other day? So again, coming up with some kind of compromise and agreement that both people or both parties can be okay with. Uh, instead of fighting with your kids uh, or arguing with your kids on doing the dishes, it's like, okay, you know, the agreement is one does one rack and one does the other. Or again, coming up with a compromise. I'll do the dishes today. You can do laundry tomorrow or something like that. Coming up with a compromise. And then the fourth thing is, is follow up. So once you've done your, your agenda, once you've done your brainstorming, you've done your compromise and agreements, again, coming up with follow up. How do we follow up with this? So sitting down with each other and then going over it. Okay, we had some issues with taking out the trash. How is it working? We agreed on that you would take it out Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, by this certain time or do we want it out at a certain time or can I just have all day, anytime during the day? Again, those are the, those are kind of the agreements you have to come up with. And how's it working? Well, we said you could take the trash out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I didn't really give you a time. Uh, 10 o'clock at night, it's kind of hard when the trash is totally full. Can we, can we change that, that you're taking it out by one o'clock in the afternoon? So again, these that follow-ups. Is it working, is it not? If it's not, how can we go back to agreement and compromise? or go back to brainstorming and then go back to agreement and compromise and then go back to follow up. So these are some tips you can do for problem solving. Like I said, this is the second, uh, the second step or the second uh, uh, video for managing conflict during isolation. We'll do another one next week. So last week, again, with active listening, this week is problem solving. Please follow us on Facebook. Like I said, my name is Junior Hoops. I'm the Family Access Program Manager here at ACS. Please follow us on Facebook. Look at our other tips, not only from Family Advocacy, but New Parent Support, EFMP, and all the other different agencies here at ACS. Thank you.